Swimming is known to build one of the most admired physiques in sports. I mean, look at Olympic sprinters like Caleb Dressel and Florent Manidu, absolutely jacked. But the real story is not just about how the body looks. Swimming actually rewires your brain. It rebuilds your muscle. It upgrades your heart and lungs. It even changes how long you live. In this video, we're gonna talk about the science-based truths about swimming and how just one swim or making it a lifestyle can transform your body. I'm Lucas Siska, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. Now, you've often heard the phrase, the runner's high. Well, that certainly exists in swimming as well. You know, back when I first started working with adult swimmers in 2015, I would see people coming into my session stressed, tired, having anxiety, but then leave it completely opposite, full of energy, happy, and ready to go. You know, this wasn't just feelings. There was actually hormonal things going on causing this. There's a release of dopamine and norepinephrine that actually makes you feel more alert, more focused, and just altogether happier. The water itself helps trigger these hormones to be released. The immersion of the body, the rhythmic breathing, the stretching out of the stroke, feeling the water. I mean, I remember back in my competitive swimming days when I got in for a morning swim and my body was healthy, I could easily feel that swimmer's high that we're talking about. It's a beautiful thing and I wish that everyone can experience it. I'm actually gonna tell you something that may surprise you, but maybe you've experienced it as well. When I'm coaching on deck and I'm working with adult swimmers who have actually really high IQs, as soon as they enter into the water, all of a sudden that IQ disappears. They don't even understand what three or four or the number five is. I'll say five times 50 and they'll be like, how many 50s? <laughs> but guys, in reality, swimming actually improves your brain function. The blood flow to the brain actually increases memory, focus, and actually helps you to learn things easier. This has been proven by science. But don't worry guys, the swimming IQ sometimes gets lower at first and then it jumps up higher later. And guys, if you wanna know your true swim potential in this moment, I want you to take my quiz and we'll give you a score to let you know. Look in the comments below, click the link and find out. Now we all know that swimming builds muscle, but more specifically, it can increase your muscle fibers for slow twitch fibers and fast twitch, all depending upon what discipline you're training for. It does a little bit of both regardless, but also it builds your mitochondria in your cells. Those, those are the power plants in your cells which give you energy. I often see with swimmers that I work with that after three to four weeks, they go from not being able to swim 100 meters without getting out of breath to swimming 1,000 meters plus comfortably. It's amazing what swimming can do for you. Another amazing thing about mitochondria is that they actually help you get leaner. Why? Because your body learns how to burn fat more efficiently. This is why a lot of Olympic swimmers look so lean and ripped. It's all amazing what your body can do when it starts adapting to the sport. One of the most beautiful ways swimming transforms your body is that it's low impact, unlike running and other sports that cause a lot of risk for injury. Actually, a lot of times I've had swimmers who were doing swimming because they got injured in running. They had bad knees, bad tendons, and then once they started swimming, they were able to strengthen those exact issues. Swimming can make your muscles and tendons stronger. So maybe if you're somebody who wish they could run again, swimming is a great way to get you back into those sports that you love. Then you might say, Lucas, though swimming causes me shoulder pain. Well, let me tell you one major reason why people get pain in their shoulders from swimming. Oftentimes people get pain in their shoulders because when they're going for a breath, they're doing it in an awkward position. They lack mobility in their shoulder and the shoulder is in a weird position in relation to the head and shoulder. So when they go like this for a breath, this is putting a lot of pressure on their shoulder, their rotator cuff. What you need to do when you go for breath is to make sure that you follow through, stretch out, and when you're in this extended position and your breath goes with the shoulder, you really alleviate that shoulder pain. It's huge, it's just one small movement that can alleviate it. Guys, you need to be careful of your shoulders in swimming. It's no surprise in swimming that your heart and lungs are improved. 
more specifically, your left ventricle in your heart actually gets stronger. And that's why you can have such a low heart rate when your fitness is increased. Actually, after decades of swimming, and even though I don't swim as much now, I still have a resting heart rate right around 41, 42 beats. This allows me to just be more efficient in my daily life. And guys, just think about it. If your heart is beating less, you're expanding the life of your heart, which also helps you to live longer. And we of course know that the lungs, lungs expand in swimming, just giving you a greater lung capacity, which also helps in daily activities. So let's talk about that longevity a little bit. Swimming is known to increase your VO2 max. That's basically how strong your engine is. And even if you just swim two to three times per week at 30 minutes, you can achieve this. It helps you lower your disease risk and this also plays into longevity. Now let's talk about exactly how much you should swim to achieve certain benefits in the body. So how much do you need to swim to unlock those benefits for your body? Before I tell you exactly, I want to stress that consistency is key. Whatever you do and whatever system you use, if you're systematic with it, it will produce results. Now, it's been shown that even just one swim per week can boost your mental state. You're in a much greater mental place if you swim at least once per week on a regular basis. Now, if you swim two to three times per week, that's when you can get that leaner physique, increase your, your heart and how well it works, and also just be overall more fit. If you can make it a lifestyle, that's when that real transformation takes place. And that's when we can have those benefits to live a long, happy, healthy life. Now let's look at someone who has said to have the ultimate swim machine, the ultimate body transformation because of swimming. Of course, I'm talking about Michael Phelps. As soon as he dives in, you can see that his body is extremely extended. You can see that his flexibility is such that he can have his shoulders in close proximity to his head. This allows you to pull more water. This is so crucial for, for new swimmers. If you don't have good swim flexibility, you won't be able to swim the correct technique. Here you can see his body flow. It's simply going from one side to the other. Don't isolate your arms from your legs. It's one motion side to side. Now when he slows it down, you can really see that from his ankle all the way up to his shoulders and his arms, they're just so flexible, which just allows them to have that fish-like motion. You wanna have floppy ankles so that you can just propel yourself forward. Don't let them be stiff. A lot of people who come from running backgrounds have stiff ankles. Just increasing flexibility in your ankles can have a huge impact. Now we're gonna see Michael from the side profile in just a second. And again, we'll be able to see these three elements at play. I want you to pay close attention as he dives in to when he takes a pull, how his armpit area looks. See how it's almost like it's just going around the water like he's over a barrel? To do this, you have to have good swim flexibility. There's some stretches that you can do that can easily create this. No matter how stiff or rigid you are, you can improve this. But the body position is the other thing that we wanna pay attention to. And when you're extremely extended like he is, you become more buoyant, swimming becomes more effortless. Swimming can totally transform your life, not just your body. Now, if you wanna learn how to breathe more specifically so that you can jump into the water and feel great immediately, there's some tricks. You can watch this video to learn them. And if you found value in this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. It really boosts the video. I'm Lucas Siska. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Take care.